welcome back to my channel. I'm Chloe. I'm a model, personal trainer and nutrition coach. And today's video is going to be a what I eat in a day. I have just filmed a full body, no equipment home workout. I'll put it in the description box below. And I wanted to film a what I eat in a day video today as well, just because Christmas is next week and I'm not going to have any time to film next weekend. So I'm kind of filming this now. You guys have a video to watch after Christmas. You guys watching this, Christmas would have happened. So I hope you guys had a good one and hopefully I had a good one too. If you're new to my channel, you might not know that I don't follow any sort of diet. I'm an intuitive eater. I kind of just eat. I just listen to my body and that includes eating junk food, that includes eating healthy food. It's just what I want. And that so far is making me happier than when I did diets and all that sort of stuff and followed strict macros and things. So for me right now, that's what I'm happy doing. I'm not saying that'll be the best thing for you. Even with my clients, I don't do intuitive eating with them because they've come to me for like a specific goal. So it might not be for you, but for me, I'm absolutely loving it. If you want to know more about intuitive eating, then go and watch my video about it and how to quit diet mentality. I will pop that in the description box as well below and I'll put the thumbnail on the screen now. Today is Sunday and I'm hoping to go to the gym later. I want to train glutes today. I've had quite a busy week and my legs are quite sore because I now teach spin twice a week and I have to practice as well in between that and do choreography and I train my legs twice a week. <laughs> my legs are quite sore at the moment but I'm going to try my best. So it's one o'clock now because I was filming a video this morning as well. So so far I've had one advent calendar chocolate and my advent calendar is lint. I've had two cups of tea with some sweetener in which is stevia, that's the sweetener I use. I have those with almond milk. That's what I've had so far. So what I'm going to go and do now is start editing my new video and I'm going to have a decaf coffee, then I'm going to get something to eat. I'll just take you along with what I eat. As I said, I don't follow a specific diet. We don't know what I'm going to eat today. Also, just really quick, a bit of promo. Can you make sure that if you're not subscribed and you enjoy this video, then you subscribe to my channel, give it a like. Follow me on Instagram at underscore Chloe Inspire underscore as you can see I'm just starting to grow on here so any liking any subscribing just massively supports me I will see you guys in the next clip okay so this is the coffee I'm having so it's just Penko decaf instant coffee and obviously that's the kettle boiling I'm just gonna have one of those now So I'm just having some of this yogurt, which is the Liberté Greek style 0%. And then I'm going to have this with, you can see I've put it in here. I'm having it with some low calorie jelly. And then I am going to put some fruit in as well. So I've just got some strawberries, some blueberries in there, which I'll just put on top. I will show you guys. And then I'm going to have some peanut butter. So it's about half past one now. So I'm just going to have this. So here we go. Here is the finished product. Sorry, the lighting is a bit weird. It's because it's actually really grey and disgusting outside. So I have got the indoor artificial lighting. So I've just now put the fruit on top, add the peanut butter. That's the Meridian Crunchy Peanut Butter. Always recommend that peanut butter. It's amazing. Or pip and nut. Just some strawberry and some blueberries. So I'm gonna have that now and then in a couple of hours have some protein oats. Okay, so it's a couple of hours later and I'm gonna make some protein porridge using this chocolate protein by The Protein Works. So it's chocolate silk, whey protein. Sorry, excuse the dressing gown, but I have got clothes on underneath. I'm just absolutely freezing. I am making my chocolate oats right now. That's the protein powder that I use. And if you guys wanna grab a free bag, there's a code in the description box. And use that when you create the account. It's not when you check out, it's when you create your account. And then they'll give you an option to get a free bag when you spend 10 pounds. So I normally recommend buying a bag and then getting a free bag. So it's just oats, which I cook with like water. So I had 40 grams of oats with water, cook that. Then I add two egg whites and then cook that. And then I add the scoop of protein and shredded courgette. So you guys I'm sure have heard of zotes. That's what zote is. Zucchini and courgette is the same thing. It's just an American term. Zucchini oats, but with egg whites and with protein powder. The egg whites basically make it go like a cakey texture because think about oats, egg whites, it's kind of what you use to make cakes. Also adds that extra protein and then you've got the protein powder as well. I'll show you guys when it's made. Okay, so I've made it now. The bubbles are because also I added some baking powder. This is to make it go more like a cakey texture. You don't have to do that, but it's really good. I learned that tip from Lauren Tickner on Instagram. She's a fitness girl, YouTuber, all of that. That's why it's gone a bit bubbly. I'm gonna add some chocolate now. So this is just the 85 cent lint chocolate. And then some fruit. This is just the frozen fruit. I will literally just add a few. And some strawberries. 
go. And that will just melt in, which will be really nice, especially when that chocolate melts in. You can kind of see it melting in now around the edge. And then also the frozen fruit is really good on there. I'm gonna enjoy that now and then get ready for the gym. Okay, so I have just got home, it's seven o'clock. After I had that porridge, I then went to the supermarket because the supermarket is shut at four on a Sunday in the UK. So I know some of my viewers are not from the UK, but in the UK our shops at four on a Sunday. I went food shopping, so I've got a bag down here. So I am gonna put my shopping away and then I'm actually gonna get my dinner because I'm quite hungry. So I did a glutes workout at the gym. What I'll do is I'll quickly put a screenshot now of what I did and I'll put the full workout in the description box. If you don't understand like what some of the exercises are, like DB means dumbbell, that sort of thing, or deadlift is DL, watch my other glute videos because I have done so many glute workouts. I've done like a how to grow your glutes, I've done how to grow your glutes faster, I've done about glute activation, I've done home booty workouts. So all of those kind of terms will be in those videos. Also, I forgot to mention earlier that in the day I have been sipping on squash. So I normally drink, this is the one I have, the Robinson's apple and black currant no added sugar i don't just have this one but that's the one i've got at the moment so i do sip on that through the day in my sweaty betty bottle just gonna put the food away and then probably put my pajamas on and get some dinner okay i'm quite hungry i've just seen my mum has got some turkey breast in the fridge. So I'm literally just gonna have a slice of this. I don't really recommend doing this, but I'm really, really hungry from the gym and it's just turkey. So I'm just gonna have a quick slice and then go and put my pajamas on and get my dinner. Okay, so as I'm here, I just thought I'd quickly talk to you guys about diets and this time of year. When you guys are watching this, it's after Christmas. I filmed this basically a week before Christmas. It's the Sunday, so this time next week will be Christmas Eve. When this goes out, you guys will be coming up to New Year. So just be wary that a lot of companies, Weight Watchers, Slimming World, all of these kind of fat loss stuff, tea toxes, will be blasted everywhere in January because this is the time for them to make money out of you. So be wary of that and be wary that diets don't work. Diets have over 85% failure rate and a diet is something that you can adhere to so diet only works if you can adhere to it so therefore me telling you to do a certain diet or some fitness person telling you to do a certain diet is fine if it works for them because they can adhere to it but you might not be able to adhere for something for example macro tracking really works for some people then you get a mum who's got three kids under the age of i know 10 she might be a single mum or even if she's not she hasn't got time to calculate all her macros and weigh out all her food every single day therefore macro tracking does not work for her so different things work for different people and also a lot of things are fads so things like tea toxins teas and stuff like that and juicing and all these things it's great short term but long term it's not going to work for you and things like the ketogenic diet has been quite a hot trend, fitness trend for 2017 that was just purely based on one study that came out that was kind of blasted everywhere and that was just one single study and ketogenic diet is fine but again it's not something that people can want to or can adhere to for the rest of their life so you need to find something that works for you and remember that a diet is not a long, long term thing so as a nutrition coach and as a personal trainer you might be wondering how I work with people every single person I work with is different and I have to kind of do an analysis on them or what I think for works for them for example one of my clients at the moment has got a baby and she had anorexia when she was younger so of course I'm going to be really cautious of how I help her she wants to lose weight that's what she's come to me for fine but I need to be really careful on how we do things so there's no way I'll be using calories I won't be using numbers we're doing not weighing her at all it's all done on how she looks and feels that's really really important then i've got another guy who basically lives out of a hotel because of his job he's eating totally different food to what she will and we have to kind of adapt and work around to how he lives in the hotel what he can eat what he has access to his time because of his job so all of these things are huge different factors it means that every client i work with is different i don't ever give someone a meal plan and then give the next person a meal plan and then a meal plan and then expect them all to get results again that means that if you're going to go online and buy someone's guide or someone's weight loss guide or something again remember Remember, they've had to write that to the masses so it's very generic and that doesn't mean that it's going to work for you long term but it's really key that you find something that works for you especially females 
There's a lot of diet chat and weight loss chat in January. So be wary of that and don't feel you have to join in. If women are going, I feel so fat, I've eaten so much and I need to lose this much weight and oh my God, I've overdone it. Don't just be like, yeah, I need to as well because you feel like you have to. Own it. If you don't feel like you need to, don't join in the conversation. Change the subject, go and talk to someone else. The best thing I can say to someone when they say that to me is remind them of qualities that are not just about their looks. So mind isn't what a nice person they are. Maybe they're really generous, maybe they're really kind and maybe steer the topic away from how they look. That's what I just wanted to make from this video today. I didn't just want this to be a what I eat in a day video and I think because of the time that this is going to be released and I know that a lot of my viewers are female. I know that a lot of my viewers are from the UK, Australia and the USA and I know all of you guys are therefore blasted with diet culture and YouTube, Instagram, all of that sort of stuff and the age of my viewers as well. I hope you can take something from that. If you do have any questions on what I've just said or any comments on what I just said, obviously just pop it in the comments below or drop me a DM on Instagram at underscore Chloe inspires underscore. Yeah, I hope you guys can take something from that. I am just going to go and put my pyjamas on and then I will get some dinner. So I'll see you guys in the next clip. So these are the sausages I'm using, they're just the corn ones and they're frozen so don't go off which is great and then I've got the frozen beans, these are the beans that I'm using that I've got in the steamer, veg is in here and then on the grill are the sausages and I'm going to be having that with, I think it's just Sainsbury's tomato and herb bolognese sauce and also some Heinz tomato ketchup with their sugar and salt one which is really good by the way. I've just had a salad as well, I will show you a clip of that as my starter and I had some of the Caesar dressing which is from Sainsbury's, you'll see my salad but it was just tomatoes, cucumber, lettuce, oh and I also had some pink Himalayan salt on it which is just this one that I got from Costco. So it's very hot. These are the steamed vegetables and I've just chopped up the corn sausages and put them on top. Now I'm going to put the pasta sauce on top. So that is the pasta sauce on top. I've had for dinner a salad before this with the Caesar dressing and some cheese on top and then the sausages with the pasta sauce and the green beans. I haven't got any carbs just because I did have turkey when I got back and I ended up finishing the pack and I've also had some chocolate as well which I actually didn't film. I had two bits of the 85% chocolate. That was why I didn't want have any carbs just because I don't really feel like it and as I said I don't follow a particular diet and I probably will have a mince pie or something like that later. I'm gonna go enjoy that and I will see you guys in the next clip. Okay so I'm just having a decaf coffee after my dinner. And I'm also gonna have a piece of dark chocolate. This is the bit that I had earlier as well. This is the 85% dark lint. So I'm just gonna have one square with my coffee. Because I'm just having a handful, literally like a palmful of these. They're not what it says on here because <laughs> my dad has put other things in here. They're actually honey roasted peanuts, salted nuts, which aren't technically amazingly good for you, which is why I'm just going to have a handful. I like them and they taste good and I'm just having a handful, so letting you know that I'm having that now. So I'm now just having some low calorie jelly and some yogurt. And the yogurt I'm having different to earlier because I finished the other one. This is just the total far hay 0% one. This is really good for like fruit and stuff and using with, it's quite nice with mince pies. I mix a tuna but it's very high in protein, low in sugars. A lot of the low fat yogurts put a lot of sugar in them. This one doesn't and this one is also high in protein so it keeps you fuller for longer. So here is the finished product. I've put some peanut butter on here. It's the crunchy meridian peanut butter. This was from Sainsbury's I think but Morrison's and Tesco's and Asda and all of that do that. Really good because it's no palm oil so always make sure you get peanut butter with no palm oil. Like a tablespoon of granola, five strawberries, a handful of blueberries, and that's about half an apple. It obviously looks more, because don't forget I've got jelly and the yogurt under there. So I'm gonna have this now, and then go and do some more work. I'll probably take this up to my room and have it whilst doing some work, emails and stuff like that. So it's about 11 o'clock now. I'm just gonna have some popcorn, two bits of chocolate, and this is a decaf tea with almond milk and some stevia in it. And the popcorn is sweet and salty by popcorn, and the chocolate 
chocolate's the same as before, the 85%. And I'm just listening to Guided by Science, which is a really good podcast. I recommend listening to these guys. They did a recent one about my life with anorexia, which I definitely recommend, obviously, because I like know about all of that stuff. But it's basically anything to do with fitness. If you're interested in fitness and health and science, this one I'm listening to, they do fitness dogma. They talk about all the rubbish and stuff that people make up on the internet. <laughs> General BS in the industry, truth and what's not the truth. They are a really good podcast, so I thought I'd just mention that. So I'm just gonna finish with that and that will be it food wise. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching my video. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe and follow me on Instagram at underscore Chloe Inspires underscore. I hope you guys had a really good Christmas. Have a great new year this weekend. I'm hoping to get a video out next week, even if it's just like a small workout or something, or with something on my channel, fingers crossed. If there isn't, then don't forget I am on Instagram. I post on there every single day without failure. I also upload all my stories loads. I am active on my DMs. So if you've got any questions and you want to contact me quickly, Instagram DMs are great. Comment below as well. I always reply to comments. So I hope you guys enjoyed it and great new year and I'll see you next week. Bye.